Hi everyone, um, I thought I'd uh, do this uh, video. Uh, I've been experimenting just using standard uh, transformers and uh, with uh, I guess a delayed lens effect or actually a shift, a phase shift. So um, this transformer is a toroid transformer that I've uh, had for a while and uh, it has a primary for uh, 100 and uh, 20 volts and it has uh, two secondaries on it so the 110 volt primary I'm not using but I'm using these two uh, identical secondaries uh, this is like an audio amp uh, power amp transformer and um, I'm using one primary as a uh, one, one of these uh, coils here as a primary and then the other one which is identical to this one here as a secondary and what I've done is I've got the uh, uh, grid going directly into this uh, uh, transformer but through a uh, set of capacitors in series. So on one leg of the grid I have a capacitor in series and uh, on the other leg it is going through a shunt resistor which is a 1 ohm uh, shunt resistor right there and um, I have my scope probes across that uh, the uh, green probe here and then the yellow probe is measuring the voltage in the standard way to calculate uh, phase and current and all that so uh, right now I have a load on the uh, secondary and that's a 10 ohm resistor and uh, it is it has 10.6 uh, volts across it and it's very hot. It's at its limit because that is actually, um, let's uh, see if we can see something on here. So we're around 400, as you see there, 427 uh, Fahrenheit. So it's very hot. And if we convert that to Celsius, uh, 220 uh, degrees Celsius. So we are producing uh, a lot of uh, watts there. That's uh, uh, just a little over 10 watts happening right there. And we are using, uh, there is my uh, meter for calculating the watts. Uh, all this is working out of reactive power. So we've got zero watts going into the circuit. And uh, I promise you this is functioning and uh, this is a brand new uh, meter. There's no defects about it. And uh, if you get your capacitance just right, as you see here, I've got 15 microfarads here. And here I have an 8 microfarad. And there, there's a 0.4 microfarad to finally get it tuned exactly to the right spot. And then you get, you know, the meter to display basically 0 watts. So this is all reactive power. Uh, and outputting a total of uh, 10 watts uh, of uh, heat there. This is my scope shot. This is um, the uh, voltage here between the uh, uh, descending and rising uh, phase here. And uh, there you can see this is uh, the current. And the current is... Um, uh, even beyond the 90 degrees, we're probably at about 98 degrees there or something like that. Uh, it's uh, kind of high. So what I'll do now is I'll just drop the uh, uh, voltage divisions here so we get a clearer picture. Bear with me here while I do all this stuff. And then I'll just adjust okay so now we you see here's our voltage 124 volts and this is our voltage here across our 1 ohm uh, shunt resistor we have one volt going across that and this is our uh, you know our waveform here uh, what uh, what it looks like so uh, I thought I'd share this and uh, obviously it looks like you can just use uh, you know a transformer off the shelf. Uh, I think a one to one ratio like this with very low uh, very low impedance uh, and zero next to nothing in DC resistance on each one of these sides here 
because this is a step down transformer it takes 120 and it uh, drops it down I think to about 35 volts or 40 volts each uh, one of these so uh, that's why you know it's uh, very low impedance and uh, very low DC resistance it's maybe like a quarter of an ohm or something like that so it gives out a really good uh, powerful result uh, once you've got it tuned uh, to the uh, basic you see it fluctuate here just a little bit but it, you know it's just uh, I'm sure it's, it's obviously you can see it's totally out of phase here between the current and the uh, voltage and uh, because this is uh, capacitance being used the voltage is uh, ahead uh, over 90 degrees uh, ahead of the uh, current so the current I guess is lagging in this uh, case here anyways I uh, thought I'd show you that and it uh, looks like you know you could use um, transformers off the shelf once you've got the correct uh, you know uh, amount of capacitance there you could uh, get it to uh, give you basically uh, free energy just using the grid uh, as a uh, you know, just uh, as as a source uh, of uh, of power there to get the circuit going, but uh, basically you wouldn't be charged for those uh, 10 watts there. All right, so I'll, that's about it, and uh, I'll just post this video. Thanks for watching. Bye now.